are seeing an unprecedented move of God's Spirit across the great global cities of the earth. Today, we see God bringing the nations of the world into the neighborhoods of our cities. This morning, we have leaders from 18 countries that have joined us for Movement Day. These leaders are delegates from the Lausanne Movement in 12 regions of the world. We want to give special recognition, in addition to these international friends, to Paul Cedar, the CEO of Mission America, which is Lausanne in the U.S., and Dave Bennett, the Chief Collaboration Officer for the Lausanne Movement. Let's have them stand and let's welcome them. city 
of Singapore. In the Western Hemisphere, Haiti is the only fragile state. A fragile state is a country that is unable to take care of its people, where people are living on less than $2 a day. In April, a team of New Yorkers and Haitian leaders traveled together to ask the question, what could happen in the country of Haiti over a decade if we work together? The idea of Port Mouvement de Port-au-Prince is underway. We're beginning a decadal campaign to see if we can affect the conditions in Haiti. One of the piece of that campaign is begin to sponsor children to see what we can do in the lives of the most vulnerable, working very closely with World Vision. We hope to see 1,500 children sponsored in the coming months. 365 days from now, Movement Day Global Cities will take place at the Jacob Javits Center. For two years, we have been working with and meeting leaders globally to work toward this gathering. This will be the first gathering of its type, as far as we know, in church history, working very closely with the Lausanne movement. Today's Movement Day is the kickoff of a year of preparation moving toward this great gathering. Throughout this day, I would ask that you would be prayerful about what God would do in your own life this day, but also how God would prepare you to influence others to participate in this historic event. God is bringing the nations to the neighborhoods. And let's pray that God would use this day to speak to us and through us to the great cities of the world. Today we're going to look at the theme of bridging the divide. How do we bridge the spiritual, social, economic, and generational divide? What God is doing in our cities is creating a new society. And in that society, we are connected to Christ across all of these divides. And we really believe that unity, the unity of the church, really is evolving. We believe that division in the church brings atheism in the world, and that the unity of the church breathes the aroma of belief. We are a moment, in a moment of global crisis. As we look at cities around the world, we see the millennial generation leading the church in mass. But at the same time, we recognize the great potential that almost every great spiritual movement are started by leaders under the age of 28. This is a great opportunity for us to identify and come alongside millennial leaders to see how they can lead us into the future. We all need to be thinking about legacy, whether you're 72 or 27. We want to think about what comes behind us. And today is a day to think about that as we're in these conversations about the important issues of our cities. We're so delighted that you're here, and I'm delighted to introduce uh, Dr. Tim Keller. Uh, many of you are familiar with, with Tim's speaking and writing around the world. He's the founder of Redeemer Presbyterian Church, the chairman of the board of Redeemer City to City, and by Kathy are currently working on a devotional audio book of Psalms that will be coming out in the next several months. Let's welcome Tim. <laughs> 